So Peter, hey Rich, Lug, a year later, the first muster user group um, as an independent body run by users. What are your thoughts? Um, I think it's been a really, really um, successful year. Uh, I mean, the counts speak for themselves. We have a small uptick on the number of um, unique organizations, right, over 60 this year. Um, and I think that uh, a, a small uptick on the number of participants. And, and given the uncertainty of what's been going on with Luster in the last year, um, given the economic times and a lot of companies facing uh, kind of shrinking travel budgets, uh, I think that it's a really encouraging sign that users care mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and the vendors are rallying to, uh, to make Luster uh, vibrant in the future. So I'd say, uh, you know, two thumbs up on this year's lug. Okay. So for the benefit of our uh, listeners out there, can you do a before and after? So how did we come into this meeting? What was the change? And uh, what were your thoughts there as far as how it came together? Well, I think that coming into LUG, we were really kind of wondering, you know, we had, uh, we had three distinct user groups. Um, we had uh, a growing number of Luster vendors and people were scratching their heads about how they were all going to be working together. Mm -hmm. um, in the ca case of Zyrotex, we were kind of, we were previously and historically in stealth mode um, and, uh, and people were wondering what the heck is Zyrotex doing with, with Luster. Yeah. Um, I think that the, um, the overall mood was more positive this time uh, because at least we have kind of the uncertainty of what's going on with Oracle behind us. Yeah. There's been a lot of positive energy towards um, the continuation of Luster by the user groups. And you know, uh, two days into the conference, uh, we now have the user organizations coming together um, in, a, in a historic uh, announcement, um, which uh, I'm sure you'll be broadcasting yeah. shortly. Yeah. Right, so we have the user groups coming together. Um, we have clarity. On, uh, on what the vendors are doing. I think we had a really great vendor panel. Um, Zyrotex, um, you know, speaking for my organization, um, is coming out of the closet, so to speak, and talking more clearly about what our intentions with Luster are and making it clear that we are actually going to be doing a product. Um, and, uh, and this afternoon, I think the, the future looks even brighter than it did a couple of days ago. Sure. So let, let's step back a year. Um, you're at Oracle, um, and you're you're the messenger of some very unwelcome news. Uh, how, yeah. did, how did how was that? Um, well, it was both good and bad. I mean, certainly from a, from a, the the negative perspective, was the message from Oracle um, was uh, was um, severely limiting to the future of Luster, um, and uh, and a lot of people uh, a lot of people were nervous to begin with, especially after multiple acquisitions of Luster and and, uh, and transformations. Um, so that was definitely the, the downside. Um, on a positive note, um, and, and a bit of a personal note, I think that, uh, that the, myself and, and all the people who were still working at Oracle at the time, um, we were treated very respectfully mm -hmm. by our colleagues and our peers and our customers and so forth. I think that everyone acknowledged that, uh, that we were the messengers of some bad news as opposed to um, the architects of bad news. Yeah. Um, so, you know, from a personal perspective, I feel still very, um, very warmly, w warmly connected to the community um, and, uh, and how respectfully they, they, they treated us through that transition. So, a year ago, uh, had you even heard of Zyrotex? No, is it like Zyra who? <laughs> I did, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know yeah. Zyrotex at all, and okay. uh, and they were they were uh, they were stealthy, fairly stealthy, right? There was a, sure. a couple of people with Zyrotex badges at Lug last year, and and as I've learned since then, a lot more Zyrotex people without Zyrotex badges. So, what do you think uh, Zyrotex's role is uh, as Luster now seems positioned to move forward all the way to Exascale? scale? So, I think that Zyrotex is uh, is. Um, plays an interesting role in the vendor community that I, I don't think other vendors have really played in the past. Um, Terrascala might come relatively close in the fact that they combined hardware um, with software and integrated a solution. Um, but, but traditionally, and for the life of Luster, it was either you know, the customers built their own um, or they worked in partnership with, the, with CFS or Sun and their hardware vendors to construct solutions um, and they were all a little bit different. They were all, were all wonderful in their own way, um, but they were uh, uh, unpredictable in terms of integration and, and performance and, and results. Um, at Zyrotex, um, it really is a company that has deep uh, storage 
a deep storage background. We're an OEM manufacturer. Mm -hmm. um, we're in a unique situation where we do everything from bend our own sheet metal to write our own firmware um, to integrate now with the acquisition of Cluster Store and some hiring that we've been doing in the software side of things, um, uh, you know, creating, uh, creating and tailoring our own Linux distribution um, and, uh, and adapting Luster for it. And I think that you'll see an interesting culmination of all those pieces um, in solving um, Luster storage solution problems. Um, in ways that that just haven't been it hasn't been attacked that that comprehensively by any vendor in the past. Sure, sure. So it's pretty exciting to be to be part of that mission. Yeah. So if you look at the what I see is like a triumvirate of uh, the three main parties here, right? There's uh, uh, this new combined Open SFS, right? It's the three user communities are yep. part of that. The Europeans, uh, HPCFS, and Open SFS are all one. Yep. The second piece I see is uh, you guys, the Zyrotex, and then the third is WAM Cloud. Can you put that together for us? How does that work together? Who does what? Um, so, to start off with, the interesting thing is is that most of the most of these people we've all worked together for a long time. So we we know and we trust and we like each other. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We know how to work together. Um, we know what worked well in the past and what didn't work well in the past. Um, so I think that we build on a really solid foundation, right? It, it's just all the pieces have moved around a little, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, especially with the user organizations coming together, we will have a much better focus and consolidation of requirements and priorities and so forth represented, uh, and so that represents the users, yeah. right? Um, there's WAM Cloud, who I think will represent um, the the bulk of the roadmap advancement, right? So Zyrotex is interested in in, uh, um, in making a substantial investment in Luster, um, and and probably um, you know compared to compared to the kind of the status quo of the ecosystem, taking a much more central role in advancing Luster and and being able to maintain it ourselves, and even um, and even contributing uh, contributing features, um, and then WAM Cloud um, as a kind of feature developers and representing a much broader um, uh, broader support of the uh, of the other um, of the other hardware vendors um, so I think that all those pieces fit together really well we're still it's going to still take some work to find our way forward um, and work out you know how you manage gatekeeping and and uh, and where exactly the canonical bug tree bug uh, database lives and where the canonical tree really lives um, but you know we're, we're doing it already. WAM mm -hmm. Cloud and Zyrotex are already working together on Luster 2.1, um, and uh, and I think that that collaboration is working really effectively. Well, cool. So uh, if uh, if you had to describe what transpired here uh, this week, is this the best of possible worlds? Um, I would say yes. You know, I mean, the status quo. If 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 Luster hadn't have uh, if Luster hadn't have kind of swayed from the path at at Oracle. Then uh, um, th the status quo might have been that a group of developers continue to work together on Luster, and uh, and um, and that's really where Luster development and advancement would have would have taken place. What we've ended up with after a period of a period of a bit of turmoil and chaos and and crisis, you know, if I can use that word, um, is I think a more diverse and a stronger ecosystem for Luster, mm -hmm. right? So the users have woken up and realized we have to take a central role in shepherding this forward and, and, and controlling our own fate. Mm -hmm. um, there's other vendors who are standing up saying, hey, we can't just rely on this one company, um, Sun or, who, or who, whomever, we need to either make, be making an investment in our, uh, you know, making an investment ourselves, um, uh, cr creating options. I think that we'll see more options available. Um, and Ultimately, I think it will make a, it'll bring us all closer together and build a stronger luster community. Yeah. So the joke I made after the announcement was, you know, they they kind of built this up. They didn't tell us what they were going to tell us. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to bring Larry Ellison up. I said that was. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that does bring up that, a serious question. Uh, you know, Oracle wasn't at the table. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. They were not part of this announcement. Does it matter? Um. I think that Oracle has played an important role in um, in making sure that Luster is still uh, that the good that, that a good name is still maintained for Luster, right? So, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm thankful that 
Oracle is treating Lustre so res respectfully, honoring their customer commitments, allowing um, the, the u this is the first user-led lug event. Um, they gr they've graciously allowed, um, they, they were, a, I believe, a sponsor. Um, Oracle's name is on things, uh, and they've allowed the, the user group to use the name Lustre. So I think that Oracle, um, um, you know, I, I'm thankful to Oracle, and I st think that they still play, um, they still play an important role. Um, is Oracle going to be important in the future of Lustre 2? I don't think so. Um, not based on what they've stated or what they haven't stated. Um, I think that uh, I think that really the the reins have been handed over to the to the Lustre community in all of its forms, vendors, uh, vendors and users alike. So Peter, we've worked together for a number of years. It always seems like you're having fun, but uh, are you having fun now? Yeah, I am. You know, <laughs> my, my last, uh, I'm having a lot of fun now. I'm, I'm, I'm making stuff again, right? I'm, yeah. uh, which, is, which is what makes you really happy. That's yeah. what turns me on, right, is right, making right. stuff. Um, and I, I felt like for a large, long period of time um, through that transition, most of my time was spent um, kind of delivering bad news and apologizing to people and trying to keep them calm, yeah. <laughs> right? And yeah. to protect and to protect Oracle's reputation and and its name. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, this is the first lug where I've actually been able to sit through sessions because uh, I haven't had a lot of responsibility for running things. I've really enjoyed it, yeah. um, and uh, like I said, I'm I'm back to building stuff, and that's really what's satisfying to me.